Fargo, with most of the team gone from a year ago, North Dakota State's annual exhibition men's basketball game to open the season Wednesday night turned into more of an introduction of new players. A familiar face, however, showed he's no longer a backup role player. Sophomore Andrew Morgan, who played in 21 games a year ago with no starts, will be NDSU's man in the middle. He wants me to get the ball in the post and I like getting the ball in the post with my back to the basket, said Morgan, referring to head coach Dave Richmond. I like to score with my back to the basket, being that guy down low. Morgan finished with 22 points and 7 rebounds in 19 minutes of play to lead the Bison past Minnesota Crookston 98-64 at Shields Center at Samford Health Athletic Complex. Morgan is up 10 pounds from this time last year, but it appears many times stronger and more athletic. His repertoire against the Eagles was mostly an array of post moves, but he also added a three-pointer, of which he was three of seven a year ago. It's made me a lot more on balance, Morgan said of his off-season workouts. Just a lot more calm down knowing that I am stronger overall. It's just helped my overall play. That shot gave the Bison a 57-45 lead almost halfway through the second half. A short while later, Morgan's three-point play and Lance Waddle's three-point field goal made it a 16-point Bison advantage. North Dakota State's Tajavis Miller and Grant Nelson reach for a rebound against Minnesota Crookston's DeAndre Hughes at the Shields Center on Wednesday, November 2, 2022. Waddles, a 6-3 true freshman guard, and the veteran Grant Nelson played major roles in finally putting the Eagles permanently behind, with Waddles adding another tray and Nelson a three-pointer and decisive dunk. It was 71-49 with 8.50 to play. Waddles and fellow true freshman guard Tajavis Miller were a combined 10 of 17 from three-point range. Miller finished with 18 points and Waddles 16. I really didn't know what to expect, Waddles said. We had a scrimmage, but being out there and in rhythm and everything is getting back into game mode, it was really fun. Nine of the 13 players are either freshmen, redshirt freshmen or sophomores. In a rarity and yet perhaps in the mid-major modern way of the transfer portal, there are no seniors, which made juniors Bowden Skunberg and Nelson the oldest players on the team. Nelson didn't start, but Skunberg started with Waddles, from Shreveport, Louisiana, and Sam Haystrider, from Lincoln, Nebraska, along with Morgan and junior transfer guard Luke Yoder. Taking heart into starting lineups in an exhibition game is risky at best, with Miller being example A. With the Bison and Eagles even through the first few minutes, he came off the bench and drilled a pair of three-pointers and the Bison quickly took an 11-point advantage just six minutes into the game. Richmond is never one to discuss pulling redshirts until he has to, but it appears Miller, Waddles and the 6-7 Haystrider will play right away. True freshman Noah Federson, a 6-10 forward from Menomonee, Wiss came in late in the first half and played 15 minutes. The Bison double-digit lead didn't last, with an almost six-minute drought being the culprit. Still, they led 38-30 at halftime against a Northern Sun intercollegiate conference team that finished 8-19 a year ago. There's going to be a lot of new, going to be a lot of fresh, a lot of ups, downs, Richmond said. I thought tonight was a prime example of that. Going back to our scrimmage, both times we got leads and just relaxed. Trying to get transfers, trying to get high school kids to understand the moments, the habits that need to be put into action, the behavior that needs to happen all the time for us to grow. Guys just getting comfortable out there, it's all so different. UMC. Allman 1, 3, 2, 2, 5. Rossi O, 2, 0, 0, 0. Sonia 6, 1, 5, 0, 1, 12. Jones 4, 8, 8, 1, 1, 1, 7. Washington 4, 1, 0, 0, 0, 9. Hughes 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, Meeks 1, 4, 3, 4, 5, Mitchell 2, 4, 0, 4, 4, Batty 0, 6, 3, 4, 3, Kirk 1, 6, 0, 0, 2, Fuchs Jr. 3, 4, 1, 1, 7, NDSU, Morgan 8 to 9, 5, 7, 2, 2, Haystrider 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, Yoder 3, 8, 0, 0, 7, Waddle 6, 1, 0, 0, 2, 1, 6, Skunberg 4, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, Miller 6, 1, 2, 0, 0, 1, 8, Nelson 6, 1, 0, 4, 6, 1, 7, Stride 2, 3, 2, 4, 6, White 0, 4, 0, 0, 0, Federson 1, 2, 0, 2, 2, Sledden 0, 2, 0, 0, 0, Half Time. NDSU 38, UMC 30. Total fouls. UMC 20, NDSU 22.
Rebounds, UMC 35, Batiel 7, NDSU 51, Nelson, Stride 8, 3-point goals, UMC 3-11, Allman 1-1, Sonia 0-1, Jones 1-3, Washington 1-2, Meeks 0-1, Batiel 0-1, Kirk 0-2, NDSU 15-34, Morgan 1-1, Haystrider 0-1, Yoder 1 to 4, Waddles 4 to 7, Scunberg 2 to 3, Miller 6 to 10, Nelson 1 to 4, White 0 to 2, Sledden 0 to 2, Assists, UMC 4, Sonya 2, NDSU 19, Yoder 6, Turnovers, UMC 10, Sonya 4, NDSU 11, Morgan 4, North Dakota State's Andrew Morgan scores against Minnesota Crookston's DeAndre Hughes at the Shields Center on Wednesday, November 2, 2022. North Dakota State's Andrew Morgan and Minnesota Crookston's Blaze Sonia battle for a loose ball at the Shields Center on Wednesday, November 2, 2022. North Dakota State's Luke Yoder drives against Minnesota Crookston's Blaze Sonia at the Shields Center on Wednesday, November 2, 2022. North Dakota State's Bowden Skunberg works for position against Minnesota Crookston's Crookston's Deontre Hughes at the Shields Center on Wednesday, November 2, 2022. North Dakota State's Luke Yoder shoots past Minnesota Crookston's Matthew Allman at the Shields Center on Wednesday, November 2, 2022. North Dakota State's Grant Nelson collides with Minnesota Crookston's Xavier Jones at the Shields Center on Wednesday, November 2, 2022. North Dakota State's Lance Waddles shoots against Minnesota Crookston's Desmond Washington at the Shields Center on Wednesday, November 2, 2022.